Uh huh. All right. I think I have time to do one more quest. Yeah. I don't know about Tarzan because of the whole Disney no longer having the rights for it. It would be fun to see them, but I, I don't think we will, sadly. Uh, let's see. I haven't done any quests with Olaf or Fairy Godmother. Should probably do <laughs> their quests. Yeah, I know. It, it stinks. I look Olaf. Oh, hello. Would you like to do something together? Hello, Juniper. I was just coming to find you. I'm very happy to be back in the valley, but oddly it doesn't feel right. Oh. It's like something's missing. I just don't know what it is. Well, there's lots of things missing. Oh. You're older and thus all-knowing. Could you help me? I am very much all-knowing. Thank you for noticing. Oh. Sure. Well, this place used to be full of joy, friendship, and warm hugs. Hmm. But something... But some of the villagers don't seem happy at all. Like that glumpy lion and the lady always looking- Oh, you mean... I'm old. <laughs> yes. So you mean Scar and Mother Goth- Yeah, well, Scar I'm okay with. Mother Goth, should we should just- You're a very good leader. Thank you, Nala. Um, Mother Goth, we should just avoid. Grumpy line and lady who's always looking in the mirror. Oh, you must be in Scar, Mother Gothel. You don't need to make everyone happy. What have you tried to make them happy? We'll get them to smile. Okay, well, Mother Gothel, it's pretty easy just to compliment her. Scar, on the other hand, is a bit more tricky. Yeah, you don't need to make everybody happy, Olaf. They're hungry for power. If they were happy, a lot of people in the village wouldn't. <laughs> no, I don't think dancing would make them happy. <laughs> it makes me happy, though. Mm. Wow. So you're saying that some don't oh, are at odds with others? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's a very grown-up thought. Let's keep it simple. What have you tried to make Scar and Mother Gothel happy? Why are you trying to- oh. yeah. Well, I tried giving Scar war- that, that probably wouldn't end well. I've tried petting him before, it doesn't work. He gets very grumpy. <gasps> <laughs> Got stuck in his fur. I don't- yeah, I don't think he would either. <laughs> that might <laughs> work. <laughs> then I tried telling Mother Gothel some fascinating trivia. Like what? Mm -hmm. I don't... Oh no. I told her the average human breathes in and out 22,000 times. Ah. That's a lot. <clears throat> she didn't seem very impressed. Again, you have to tell her, like, she's pretty. Just, you know, just tell her that she looks pretty and young and all that stuff. Maybe we should get... Maybe we should... Could try giving them a gift? That always cheers people up. <gasps> That's an incredible idea! I knew you, you could help me, Juniper. You have it, it, wisdom that comes from mature- I am not mature at all. <clears throat> I am the opposite. Hi, Stitch. And... <laughs> yeah, then we can send her far, far away. <laughs> And you know, flow um, that might work for Mother Gothel. I don't know about Sc High Scar. 
Yeah, I don't know about him. Okay, red one, blue, I... There you go. Excellent bouquet. And of course, we'll need some sa yeah, get, yeah, giving Scar food might be the best option for him. My neighbors are good. Yes. Model citizens. I wouldn't be so sure about that stitch. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Sam and why? Just trust me on this one, Juniper. It's all going to make a wonderful gift. Mm. Why don't you go find everything with- I'll figure out what to write on the cards. Mm. Ah, dear Sky, next one. Dear Mother Gop- Hmm, no. Too my <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Pretty sure I have all of those in my house. To my house. I really like how how this rip on Scar's ho house happened. I really wish we could keep that one. That's cool. Yeah! <laughs> well, I'm, I'm okay with making Scar's day better. I, I like to keep him at least in a good mood, so I don't have to worry about him getting into trouble. Mother Gothel, though, she I don't really care. <laughs> yes, they are crops. They are very much crops. They- yeah. Alright. To the second floor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, salmon. My house isn't done yet. I have. Let's see. That's all of rooms I have to work on. Yeah, this is my bedroom. I think your non-existent house looks amazing. Then I made a guest room. I don't think I have anything in there. I think this is one of my empty rooms. Oh no, I made it. Oh yeah, I made another guest room. I made a jungle themed room. Then... I think more of the upper floors are more empty. I think this one is more of a, yeah, more of a living room. Yeah. Oh yeah, I made I made, I made a I made a little dojo. I think I did I have I finished have I redone my throne room? Oh yeah, my throne room. I need a better throne, though. I want a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, I love I love the cherry I love the cherry blossom trees. Oh yeah, this is one of the empty rooms. I think I don't think there's much in this one. Yeah, this one it starts to get more empty. And then I think this one is just has oh nope. yeah this one I just have some of the mannequin new mannequins I added. Then there's another empty room. <laughs> the bottom floor though I have three nicely done rooms. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I sometimes forget what areas are where. Thankfully, I kept my kitchen on the bottom floor. It's very crowded. <laughs> and then there's the Mickey wall. It's all the pictures of Mickey. His bathroom. And then I have my favorite room I've made, which is the library. <laughs> yeah. All right, now let's go get this stuff to all off. Although, instead of employee of the month, it would be like villager of the month. <laughs> Although, if that was true, it would be Goofy. Goofy definitely deserves villager of the month every month. Alright, where's the snowman? Kind of agree, yeah. Okay, I thought I just saw one. Where? There he is. The one place I haven't really decorated outside. The Forest of Valor. I still have to make my fairgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I Hello. need a little help. Here you go. Oh, good, you're here. You did it. You found the salmon and all the flowers. Hey, did you know that together salmon and flowers are you know, from fall to snow? Ooh. I did not know that. Hmm? That's okay. I found most people didn't. <gasps> Come on, let's show Mother Gothel her gift. I think she's gonna love it. Goodbye! Mate, uh, yeah. Depends on what mood she's in. You gonna go? <laughs> I love how he runs. Mother Gothel! We've got a very special gift for you! Ta-da! Wait, why did you give her the rotten fish? Why would you possibly give me raw fish? Of all of them? Because I thought you'd like them? Did you know that salmon changes color? <laughs> Olaf, you were supposed to give her the flowers. How nice of them. Now run along and stop pestering me with useless nonsense. Olaf, you were supposed to give her... You were supposed to give her the flowers. Oh, no. I'm surprised I gave the make Mother Gothel happy. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't, but... <laughs> I thought you were gonna give her the flowers and Scar the salmon. I think that would a little mixed up. <laughs> very true. Very, very true. 
We shouldn't tell her that, though. <laughs> or maybe we should. <laughs> yeah, making everyone in the village happy is going to be harder than I thought. We have to keep trying. You're right. When he is in the round, yes. <laughs> we'll start by delivering this bouquet. Oh, this is going to be great. I'm sure he'll love it. I don't know. Uh, um, Don't worry, I'm sure Scar will love it. These flowers definitely say King of the Jungle to me, or at least Jealous Uncle of the King of the Jungle. <laughs> oh, yes. Why don't I bring Scar the flowers? He can be a little grumpy. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, but make sure to tell him they're from someone who wants him to make him smile. Eh, uh, sure. I'll meet you near the bridge on the- yep, yeah, yep. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Don't you just love summer? This is gonna be great. Oh. Okay, where, where's Mr. Grunt? Oh, he's down there. He's on the beach. Maybe that will make... Does it? <laughs> yeah, that might be hard to... Yeah, we probably don't want that to happen. I like Olaf. He, he can just get a little confused. At times. Oi. Over here. If you uh, be so kind. Here you go! Oh, goody. It's you. Because <laughs> he's old. <laughs> hey, Scar, I've got a gift for you. Here you go. Um. <laughs> a ratty bunch of flowers. Surely you weren't fooled enough to gather these for me yourself. They're from Olaf. He really wants to make you thought you thought you'd like them. Huh. Pass on my appreciation for these. <laughs> oh man. And can and then tell that Chloe little Snoke in that if he pesters me oh Scar be nice. <laughs> you did it. Huzzah. Yeah, probably best that I did that and not Olaf. <laughs> that might not have ended well. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we should probably try to probably try to keep Olaf away from these two. <coughs> Excuse me, my dear. For at least a couple of days. Don't forget, I'm here to help. Well, uh, at least he kind of liked them a little, maybe. Hi, it's me, Ola. <laughs> yes. Did Scar like his bouquet? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. I don't think. He hated it. Uh, uh, we're gonna be nice. <laughs> hmm. Something tells me you're just telling me how to make me feel better. That no, no. <laughs> Which shows that you are a wise and caring leader. Who? Yep. How about the feeling of their sister? Yep. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Wow. You real? It really is tough to make people. Happy. Yep. Especially those people. I just wanted to bring joy to the whole village. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, something, ha something's happening. I think everything we do together is making new memories appear. Oh, thanks. <sighs> We've this only been to, I've so done happy. one thing with Olaf. Oh, like that, Franklin. 
New memory! Ooh! That's odd seeing Gothel like that. Cool. That's it! That's what's missing from the village! Stories! Before the beginning, I had official village storyteller! Cool. That's how I brought joy to the village. I did it, I wanted to. And he, and there used to be great big stage in the frosted heights. And everyone would gather around it and we'd put on plays. I've seen some of your story times all off. You do very good stories. There isn't a stage in the frosted heights. It must have been destroyed during the forgetting. Oh, how sad. Don't be sad, we'll bu build a new stage. It'll be even better than the old one. Yeah. We will? Thank you! And even, I think, today... Ah, sorry. And I think I will remember how to build the old stage. Use soft wood, iron ingots, and rope. I wonder where we got the curtain. Uh, probably Scrooge. Oh no, Mini! Mini's probably out. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we. <laughs> yes. Through the art of dancing. All the dan- oh, I, I- I bet Olaf is a great dancer. Okay, let's gather everything and make the stage and start telling stories again. Alright, we gotta go talk to Minnie. Oh, I need more rope. It's okay, I can make more rope. Now the question is, where is Minnie? I was hoping to see. Oh, I don't think I've seen. I didn't see that Mickey's house has scars on it. Day. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> Did you just turn your to the <laughs> yes. Do you have any curtains that you could spare for Olaf? We're building a stage. Ah! A stage? Oh, how excellent. Exciting. I know, I can't wait to watch Olaf plays. Help Olaf with plays. Star with Ola. Um, I am an incredible actor. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that. Oh. And you know what? It's your lucky day. I just picked up some new curtains from Uncle Scrooge. That I have some extra fabric. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Minnie. <laughs> All right. Now we gotta make a stage. the crafting table. 